Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Mock Interviews. If you want to be part of these interviews, all you need to do is comment below and I'll get in touch to sort out one for yourself as well. It's all free service and costs you nothing. By the way, you need to give me two promises or the consents before you appear to the interview. The first one is you need to ensure you come well prepared for the interview as all I want from yourself to be a successful in your final interview. The second promise is you need to ensure press the like and subscribe to the channel. Let's enjoy the interview. Uh, can you confirm your okay. name and date of birth, please? My name is Linda Ebe and my date of birth Can you describe the course you will be studying? I'll be studying leadership in health and social care. And uh, the course specification has to do with um, providing skills and knowledge that would be able to apply in health and social care sector. So it's basically, practic um, it's basically applying the knowledge and skills that will be gotten from leadership in health and social care. From my models of the course, it has to do with managing people in health and social care, as well as understanding health and social care through its policies and strategies, and as well as leading change and service improvement in health and social care. So basically my program or my, or my course is more or less imbibing in us, enabling, giving us the skills and knowledge to be able to manage system of health care thank you very much uh, why you have chosen this course okay why i chose leadership in health and social care is because i would speak coming from nigeria we manage we, i know that management and leadership is very important in providing quality health services and that's a serious problem we have in my country back in Nigeria, here in Nigeria. So I have decided to study this course based on my background, first and foremost, and volunteering in social care. I've seen this lack and of adequate healthcare managers. So I decided to study leadership in health and social care to give me the skills and the professional qualification to be able to contribute towards the development of our health and social care sector in Nigeria. So that's why I decided to go for this course. Are you required to do work placement as part of this course? Career counseling, career progression, CV review, job finding techniques in the UK, one-to-one -one session. These are the few perks you will receive when you join my YouTube channel as a member. Getting membership of my YouTube channel is a straightforward process. Next to the subscribe button on any of my YouTube channel video, click the join button there and select the one-to-one -one session and pay by the direct debit or by paywall. Post your membership, you will receive a one-to-one -one session meeting invite at your convenience. Simple as that. So see you in the one-to-one -one session. Thanks for watching. From the course outline and the curriculum, no, there's no course uh, placement for it, but there's going to be workshops for the program. Right. Uh, why do you want to study at this university? Okay, why I want to study at the University of Bradford. The University of Bradford is one of the universities that has a very um, high, it has a high technology innovation. And also the school university is named as the university for social inclusion. So for this, this university, I, I'm very confident that this university provides the opportunity to improve student life chances. So what do I mean by this? The school from my research, the university, I feel like the university is a place that will provide the enabling environment coming from Nigeria, coming from a, a, a different country for me to be able to adapt, for me to be able to blend in and for me to be able to, um, be, for me to, to be able to make it in the university as well. And also University of Bradford is known for being a multi diverse uh, cultural university. So I feel like it's a place that I would feel confident being in, in learning. And for my program, my, my course, Leadership in Health and Social Care, my faculty is one of the largest faculty in the University of Bradford with 
cutting edge innovation as well as with uh, facilities like such as the digital health entrepreneur zone so i feel very confident in learning in this space that's why i chose university of bradford thank you very much uh, did you research other universities and which ones i actually researched oxford brooks university i also researched Leeds Beckett University but from my research I felt more confident and also with the quick response I got from University of Bradford I felt it's a, a place I'm going to feel at home it's a place I'm going to feel belong and that's why I decided to make my choice of the for the University of Bradford why you have chosen to study in the UK rather than in your home country okay I decided to study in the UK because Number one, so several reasons. Number one, UK education, UK university provides high quality education. It provides high quality education that I would not be able to get in my home country. Secondly, I decided to study in the UK because of the multi diverse cultural um, environment. So I'm going to get the opportunity to meet a lot of international students, to be able to meet a lot of people to create a network to create a, a bond with people from different walks of life and also studying university of uk increases my career employability so it gives me an opportunity it gives me an edge to be able to apply for senior positions back in my home country and also studying in the university or choosing to study in the university of uh, in, in, in the uk gives me the opportunity to like i said earlier on to to experience education with high technology with innovation innovative academic system so that's why i decided to choose to study in the uk did you research any other country before deciding on studying in the uk yes i did i researched canada as well as australia but i realized that the uk U UK is more open and it's, it's easier to, to come in as an international student in the United Kingdom than these other countries. And as well as the quality of education, I feel it, it's, it's far more than for these other countries. Thank you very much. Uh, what, course, what course did you last study? I had my bachelor's degree in primary education studies. But my background has been volunteering and working in the social care sector. So did you had a break between your studies? Yes, I had a study gap for about 10 to 12 years. I did. So what you have been doing during this break? Okay, I had a study gap because I had to focus on um, my family. I had to also focus on my job to be able to save enough because my journey to the UK to study has been a long term plan for me. And it made me to, I had to focus on my work so that I could be able to save enough funds to fund my tuition. So while I was, while this study gap was, I was working at the same time, I was also um, taking care of my family. So, how does your work so, relate to the course? Like I said, my voluntary work and also for the, for a long time being in a social care sector, I've gathered a lot of I've gathered a lot of experience, and I felt like I have led also my bank my my current job. I work as a customer service manager where I have to provide a lot of um, um, solutions to customer service issues and all that. So for me for taking this course is in line with my experience. I want to transit to more senior roles. I want to be able to manage people in health and social care. I want to be able to provide leadership that would, at the end of the day, provide, at the end of the day, transit to a better quality of health services and also improve people's lives. So what is your plans after completion of this course? When I'm through with my program, I intend to go back to my country, Nigeria. Like I earlier stated, our health and social care sector at the moment is very bad due to a lot of factors, due to mismanagement and all, all that. So I feel like with this, when after taking after undergoing this program, 
I'm going to be equipped with the knowledge and as well as the professional experience to be able to work with other policy makers in the health and social care sector, to be able to contribute to the development of our health and social care sector. So I intend to, I, I intend to work with especially our primary health center in Nigeria, also WHO, international organizations that have to do with health and social care, where I can contribute my skills and knowledge being learned from my degree. Where you will be staying in the UK? For now, I've been researching. I'm going to be living off um, the school, off campus. So I'm going to get accommodation that is very close, a walking distance to the school in Bradford. How much will your, your accommodation cost? From my research, for, because I am coming with my dependents, my spouse and my daughter, for my, from my research, my accommodation is going to cost around 500 to 600 pounds per calendar month. And how far is your accommodation from the university? Being that my research has been basically around the uh, Bradford city centre, to be precise, so it's about um, 10 minutes to 15 minutes walk from there to the school. Can you confirm how much is the course tuition fee? The cost of my tuition, discounting the scholarship for sub-Saharan African countries, which I benefited from, is £12,682. And how much funds do you need for maintenance in the UK? I'll be needing £1,023 per month. My dependents, it's about, I will confirm, 600 and something. How are you financially supporting your study in the UK? I, it, I'm self-funded. I'm supporting my studies through my savings which is already available, my tuition, the balance of my tuition already available in my bank account that, has, that was provided. So I'm self-funded and I'm funding it from my savings and investments. Right, okay, thank you very much. Uh, that's all I have to ask from yourself. Is there any questions for me? No, thank you, no. Thank you very much, uh, Linda. Uh, that was uh, that was great. Um, actually, uh, obviously, you got lots of experience in your field, uh, and you know exactly what you're doing. Uh, in terms of yeah, like I mean, what you explain uh, the the purpose of the case uh, basically, essentially, is uh, the university wants to check basically you are eligible and you are relevant to the course. Uh, that's that's all it is basically, essentially. What I can see, the okay. main uh, thing, I mean, the main uh, hurdle you might face, uh, I say might, is is your gap. I mean, that, that would be one thing. Uh, like, I mean, they might ask, yeah, especially the immigration side of it, when, when they see basically 10 years sort of gap between your studies, they might bring a bit of a doubts there. Uh, but as long okay. you have, you can show and basically this is what you've been doing and that's, that's where that trigger you to do masters and to enhance your basically skills, up, up okay. skills yourself. As long, I mean, you cover that yourself that way, uh, that, that should be good enough there. Uh, also, you mentioned about, yeah, you're dependent as well. Uh, you need to be financially, like, I mean, with your sort of bank accounts, everything. You need to ensure you check, I mean, what the requirements are, especially for the dependents as well. Um, okay. You need to be, yeah, all, all the numbers should be at, at, at your fingertips, uh, basically, what, how much funds okay. you need. Uh, because these are the sort of questions, I mean, they, they, they might ask you and uh, basically just repetitive questions there in terms of your financial as well as you need to cover mm -hmm. your gap uh, and make sure you have the valid okay. reasons there. Uh, that, that's, the, that's the only thing I can add uh, what you provided actually, but the rest in terms of, yeah, you got really good experience and you know exactly what you're doing and what the purpose of uh, you coming to the UK basically. So I can't add anything more there. Um, so I, I can wish you good luck in the future. Thank you, thank was, you. Thank you very much and um, hope to see you here in the UK. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank Ciao. you. Nice to see Bye. you. Cheers. Bye. Same here.
Uh, Stefan, no, it's actually coming from your end. Uh, is everything okay? Okay, is it better now? It, it's a lot better now, yeah. Okay. Uh, how are you today? I'm doing oh. fine, thank you. Yeah, I can see you now as well. So your camera is on now, so I can see your face. Yes. So where are you from actually before we start into sort of yeah the the formal sort of way let's let's have a quick catch up yeah uh so what's what's the plan i mean uh, where are you from and uh, what's the what's the intention when you're going to start okay my name is linda i'm from nigeria i intend to start my program with the university of bradford january 17 oh. 2022 right so what what course you intend to to study I intend, I intend to study um, MSc, Leadership in Health and Social Care. Wow. Leadership. Okay. Uh, that's that's really, really well in demand course, actually. Anything to do with health, health basically, medical sort of side. Yeah, that, that's, that's what you need, actually, in the UK currently. That's, that is the, uh, the current situation, actually, in the UK. So good luck with that. But... Uh, just with this uh, interview, obviously, I mean, the intention is to uh, get you prepared for your final sort of yeah, interview. There will be obviously along yes. the way to, uh, during your, yeah, the, of course, to, towards your uh, student yeah, visa, there will be case interview, there will be some immigration interview as well. Uh, but the question will be pretty much similar. Uh, so this will be this this interview just give you a flavor basically uh, and how you can improve it before yeah, you get to the final interview. Uh, obviously, I mean, I, I will judge your uh, your answers and uh, by back end of the, the video, I can provide you some suggestion. I mean, okay. if that's, that's all it needs, actually. So with that note, I mean, okay. if there's there's no question, so I'll make it a bit formal, ask you the question I already provided and uh, we'll we'll take it from there. Okay, that's fine. Thank you very much, Linda. So let's get started and uh, make it a bit formal.